In this video, we'll be doing an outfit transfer glitch that you can use to obtain the gun belt on any pair of those cargo pants that we'll be turning into joggers right here on GTA 5 Online. All right, so yes, we'll be turning each and every pair of those cargo pants into joggers. But first, what you guys will need to do is I placed the link down in my description. It's for a job called the G thing. You would need to go down, bookmark that job, close your console, come back on, get started with this glitch. All right, in addition to that, if you are doing this on new gen, you'll need to have someone that's in a different targeting mode. Later, you'll need to join that person. Now this is for all consoles. Now you will lose your outfits, guys. Everything that you have here on this first character, you'll lose it except for the outfit that you're wearing. So right here, this is a new account. All I have is two outfits. The outfit that I want to keep, I'm going to equip it now. Now the setup for this is pretty lengthy, but I'll walk you through it step by step. After we do the setups on our second character, we won't have to do that anymore. From there, you can go back to back into the clothing store and purchase those cargo pants that you want and turn them into joggers. Alright, so I also recommend guys having all of your money in your bank on your first character. From there, we're just going to go and create a second character. It'll need to be a female. We'll need to create a female character as our second character. Now it doesn't matter what she look like, we're going to delete her in just a moment. But we definitely want to push X to accept this alert here. We just copied over the rank to this second character. We're going to need that. Alright, so from here, I'll just make her look any kind of way, but she was butt ugly. Guys, this is for you guys that got banned with your accounts. Now we're going to stack up your accounts. Here you can get about 10 to 15, 20 different pairs of joggers here. Alright, so when we get into that new session, all we're going to do is pause it. We'll need to find a clothing store. If we don't see any clothing stores on our map, all we're going to do is find a new session. Now when it dropped us into this session here, it was a public session. So this actually works in our favor. So all we'll do is find a new invite only session. Alright, so when you spawn in that new session, all we're going to do is pause it and see if we see any clothing stores on the map. Perfect, so I do have clothing stores, I'll make my way to that store. Alright, so from here guys, when you create your new female character, she usually come with a necklace, earrings, sunglasses, or a hat. Whatever the case is, we're going to take all of the accessories off. When we get those accessories off, we're going to go down to gloves. All we're going to do here is we'll purchase number 32. After we purchase that, we're good on that station. From there, we're going to go to the bottoms. We'll select sports pants and we'll purchase number one here, the spotted muscle pants. Alright, so from here guys, we're going to go to shoes, then we'll go down to the high heel boots. From there, we're going to purchase number 24. So we'll scroll up here. There's our number 24 Deluxe Midnight Combat. We'll need these boots. Now after we're done there, we're just going to go over to the tops. When we get to the tops, we'll select work jackets. From here, we're just going to go down to number 38. We'll need that peach camo. So here's our peach camo clothes fill. After we do that, we're going to go to the gun running t-shirts. So we'll select gun running t-shirts right here. From there, we're going to purchase number 60. That's the blue digital t-shirt. Alright, so now we just equipped this outfit and we are done with this character here. All we're finna do now is we'll make our way to this front desk and we'll save this outfit. So you guys can name it whatever. So all we're going to do is hit square. But you do not want to put it in slot number one. Always leave slot number one empty. We'll put this in slot number two. That's mandatory. We'll place this in number two. Perfect. I just name it anything guys because we'll delete this in a moment. I just named mine cargo. From there we'll pause, go to online, options. Then we'll kill ourselves. Alright, so we are 100% done with purchasing outfits for this female. But before we delete her, we'll need to go into creator. We're going to create a quick race and we'll test that race. Now a lot of you guys are going to tap out right here, but I assure you guys this is too easy. So all we're going to do is select creator and we'll head into creator. Alright, so when we get here, all we're going to do is select create a race. 
so that's the second option there from there guys all we're gonna do is go down to land race so we'll select land race now okay so here it doesn't matter what the title is what the description is all we're gonna do is push race details from there it's gonna ask us for a title so right now you cannot see my keyboard but I'm just gonna title this thing anything guys you can title this anything we're gonna delete this in a moment but our title in our description in that photo we can put anything there so after I've done that now I just done my description you guys can't see my keyboard but you type in your description you guys can just put anything there from there we're gonna go down to photo notice it brought me right here I don't have to pan around and look for anything guys I'm just gonna capture this shot here so easy alright so from here we're just gonna back out when we back out one page it's gonna take us down to race options here what we'll need here number of players is we'll need three here very important so we'll put three there now when we go down to race type we want to select point to point after we select point to point we can go down notice I'm in the sports class and this 9F is pretty fast you guys can choose a fast car because we're about to test that race alright so placements when we select this all we're gonna do is pause when we pause we'll open up the map and we can go right down here to the docks perfect just push X it'll warp you down here perfect so right here we're just gonna put our starting point after we place that trigger in that location we can back out now it wants a lobby camera picture all we're gonna do is snap that photo we don't have to look around for anything from there we're gonna place our checkpoints now me I'm just gonna line these cars up I wanna make me a clean easy path just the path because I'm gonna have to test this race in a moment just something I can go straight down straight across straight over real simple so all we're gonna do is just keep pushing X to drop these points here now quick pause for our friends at Aurora are you ready to get back in the game with outfits cars for Xbox PlayStation and PC go over and see my friends at Aurora resupply or maybe you're just needing funds added to your account they have many packages to choose from a fast delivery time and they're highly credited their link will be in my description also use that promo code made for a 10% discount now we'll keep dropping these points here until this mileage says 0.62 after it says 0.62 we're ready to test this race so we'll keep dropping them there's nothing fancy there's nothing difficult now we just want to be able to get around this area here pretty quick because like I said before we're gonna test this race so we'll keep dropping now notice here we're at 0.69 that's perfect now we can back up one so we'll hit circle and we'll hit circle again to back up now we'll select test alright so that sports car you chose it's gonna allow you to test this race in that sports car now I'll catch up with you guys after we're done with this test here now after we complete this all we're gonna do is accept this alert right here once we accept that guys all we're gonna do is pause the game then we're gonna go to choose character we are done that was so easy we don't have to do that anymore now we can go online and we can get all the outfits we want alright so from here yes we'll just choose character now when we get back here this is why I said you new Jenners need to have someone in a different targeting mode because when you try and join that person that's in a different targeting mode all it's gonna do is kick you to story mode but first we're gonna delete that female character we just created when we delete that old gen all you would do is push circle circle will take you back to story mode you new geners all you're gonna do is join someone that's in a different targeting mode from there it'll kick you to story mode that's very important so me I'll push circle I'm on old gen right now it's gonna drop me back to story mode when I get to story mode all I'm gonna do is find me an invite only session and I'll head right on into the action alright so all of the setup work is out of the way now that first slot we left empty 
when we start saving these outfits, we will not touch that first slot. We can start saving these outfits from the bottom of the list. So right here, all we're going to do is make our way to the nearest clothing store. Now by doing that, that outfit that we created guys, that gave us that race belt and it's going to allow us to turn all of the cargo pants into joggers. So simple. A lot of your modded accounts had camo joggers on them. Alright, so from here, that outfit that we kept, all we're going to do is save it at the very bottom of the list. So we'll push square to save and we'll go all the way down and we'll just name it anything there. I put orange because these are my orange joggers. It only allows us to save that one outfit that we have on. But from here, we're going to go to the bottoms. We'll select cargo pants. Now I would stay away from the ones that are on the very bottom of this list. But at least the first 30 we can choose. You got your light gray, dark gray, you got black, you got blue, green, yellow, all of the camos guys. That light gray is identical to white. You guys can start off with that light gray or whatever color you want, whatever looks white for you all you would do is purchase it. After you purchase it, we're going to go to the shoe rack. We'll select boots and we'll always go with this number 30. We want to purchase a pair of boots that tucks these cargo pants in just like joggers. So we'll purchase this each time we come back in here. That's all we're going to do is put on the pair of cargos that we want to turn into joggers. From there, we'll purchase that same 30 boot. Number 30, that boot will always be purchased so it's free for you. Alright, so now that we've got the most important thing out of the way, we've got our cargo pants and our boots on, now we can go to tops and finish customizing this 100%. Now me, I'm going to go with this black t-shirt and a biker cut. Now any one of these biker cuts, the upper part of your arm will go invisible. Now I tried to get the full arm invisible by purchasing a long sleeve under here, but the arms eventually come back. But the whole upper part of your body here will be invisible if you do it like this. Alright, so after we find everything that we want here, all we're going to do is remove any hats, helmets, or anything that we have on. After we've done that, we can go ahead and throw us some gloves on to match our outfit. Now earlier, I mentioned to go down to my description and book that job called It's a G Thing. You'll need that job, and you'll also need a friend. Now, if you don't have a friend that can join in for a couple seconds, you can just get a random person in there. But all we're going to do here is we'll go to Jobs, play job, bookmark jobs, from there we'll go to mission, it's a G thing. So when we launch this up, very important, when you get here to the settings menu, all we're going to do is select player saved outfits. It's either player owned or player saved. So see here clothing from selection, player saved outfits. We want to always go there, now we can invite anybody into the session. We'll need one more person to help out with this. Alright, so I'll just get my other account in here. Perfect. Now when we launch this, before we start guys, all we're going to do here on this next screen is we'll tap right D-pad one time. So I'll tap right D-pad once. Notice instantly there's our gun belt. We can't see our joggers just yet, but when we load into this mission here, all we're going to do is both ready up. When we ready up, load into this mission here, you'll notice you have your joggers. perfect all right so with this guys all we got to do is make our way to any one of our apartments right now we'll go to our closet and we'll save this outfit very simple now if you don't have a closet or a home right now you guys only have a garage take this moment right now to purchase one of those cheap six car garage apartments two car garage apartment whatever you have to do now all I had was a garage, but I instantly purchased this two car garage apartment here. With this, as I make my way inside of here guys, it's going to allow me to go right to my closet and I can save this outfit. Now each time we go in and create a new outfit, we'll need to come right back here to It's a G Thing. This is how we'll save each one of those outfits. So we'll go down to the bottom of the list, we'll start saving from the bottom all the way up. When we save it, all we're going to do is leave this mission. Perfect. So you might want to keep that friend on standby because right now when you spawn in, all you're going to do is equip that outfit you just saved. So right here, we're going to equip it. From there, guys, you can go to the clothing store, purchase more joggers, those same boots. 
customize your outfit, go back into a Jeep thing, save that outfit. But hey, this has been a step-by-step -step tutorial and it's been with your boy made. This video has been helpful. Like, comment, plus subscribe. This is made and I'm gone.